your ability to hear from heaven will determine your capacity to receive from heaven if you're going to have favor like never before if you're going to have favor like throughout the year like no one else has seen before then you have to know something very very important that's why i'm calling my sermon today uh, there is a sound from heaven Let's go back to that scripture because this is so so important. On the day of Pentecost. Oh my god, everyone knows about Pentecost. All the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty rushing wind and it filled the house. What filled the house? See, we only know Pentecost because of the spirit of God. But before the spirit came the sound. Before the Holy Spirit came down from heaven, there was a sound that came down. You missed the sound, you missed the spirit. You know how to be led by the spirit is to hear the sound. There's a sound. The question is, can you hear it? Can you hear it though? Can you hear it? Because your ability to hear it will determine your capacity to receive it. Through all the noise I just gave you a revelation and some people missed it. Your ability to hear the sound will determine the capacity to receive the supply. Your ability to hear from heaven will determine your capacity to receive from heaven. If you can hear the sound from heaven, you will have the supply from heaven. But I want to take you to a story in the Bible. In fact, I want to take you to the Old Testament. The same thing that happened at Pentecost. You will hear the same thing happening in the Old Testament, on a mountain called Mount Carmel. Because there also was a sound from heaven. And we're going to hear the sound. Check this out. Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink. Eat and drink? No, don't say that and go up. Don't. Focus on the eating. Don't, not. Eat and drink Pepsi. For there is a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up and he to eat and drink Pepsi. And Elijah went up to the top of Mount Carmel and he bowed down to the ground and put his face Oh my God, I'm setting myself up for trouble. Pastor, what are you preaching? No. <laughs> and said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. So he went up and looked and there, and he said, there is nothing. And seven times, say seven times. Seven times. seven times, he said, go again. And then it came to pass. Come on now. It came to pass. The seventh time he said, there is a cloud. There is a cloud. What you said was true. It came to pass. There is a cloud. But it's small as a man's hand. Rising out of the sea. So he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariots and go down before the rain stops you. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain. And so Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. Chapter 19 verse 1. And Ahab told Jezebel <laughs> all that Elijah had done. Crazy story. Question, what voice are you listening to the most in your life? What sound are you hearing the most in your life? During the week, what sound are you hearing? Because check this out, the people of Israel, they were hearing the sound of the king of Israel. But the king of Israel was hearing the sound of his wife Jezebel. 
But his wife Jezebel was hearing the sound of her god Baal. And her god Baal was the sound from hell. So now the people of Israel, the people of God, who are supposed to be hearing the sound from heaven, are now starting to hear the sound from hell. That's why heaven was shut for three and a half years. That's why for three and a half years there was no rain. That's why for three and a half years there was no supply from heaven because the supply from heaven depends on you hearing the... Favor from heaven depends on if you are focused on heaven. The reason Elijah was powerful, say that powerful. Say in the going way. I know you say that. Come on, powerful. Was because he was focused on heaven, not because he was really powerful. He was not powerful. You are not powerful. He was not as powerful. He was not more powerful than you. Elijah was not more powerful than you. All he did, he looked up. Yeah. The secret of the most powerful person in the Bible, in the Old Testament at least, the secret of Elijah's power was his focus. Oh, he was so focused on heaven. So focused on heaven. He knew where his help came from. He knew where his supply came from. He knew he did not have to fear or worry about anything that's happening around him because I know I have heaven above me and heaven is open and heaven is focused on me. So I now am going to focus on heaven. Man, he was so focused. Let me sh let's show them how he prayed. Show them how he prayed. He bowed down to the ground Because I love you, I'm going to sacrifice this for you. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, how I didn't practice, okay? I might be, I'm not as young as I look like with all the haircuts, but he said what? He bowed to the ground and put his face between his. Can you see this? I'm trying. I think Elijah was younger than me. He was, I think, 39, not 40 years old. Can you see this? And don't you dare take a picture. I will call down fire from heaven. But can you, can you see it? I can't hear your voice. This is called focus. And the reason... I'm demonstrating this to you because I want to demonstrate how difficult it is to focus. You see? That's why you don't focus. Because it is difficult to focus. That's why you lose your focus. But the reason I demonstrated this is because it's so difficult for you to focus. And maybe your face is not between your knees. Maybe your face is between your difficulty. Maybe you're not facing your knee, but maybe you're facing an impossibility. Maybe you're not facing your knee, but maybe you're facing a calamity. Maybe you're facing some poverty, maybe you're facing adversity, but it's difficult to focus when you're facing things as situations that are directly opposite to what God is saying. It is so difficult to focus when you find yourself in a situation that is contradicting what God is promising over your life. The difference between Elijah and his servant was that his servant was focused on what he was seeing. Elijah was focused 
on what God was saying. Elijah was so focused on the voice of God, so focused on the sound from heaven, that he, when he heard rain, it didn't matter what the servant saw. And the servant is like, no, there is no rain, there is no cloud. Elijah said, I don't care. Check your eyes. Go see again. Because I believe what I hear, what God is saying more than what you're seeing. That's why he told him, go again. Look again. Check this out. So the servant went up and he looked and he said, there is, say it, say it. Because that's what you say in your life. There is, there is nothing. There is nothing. He came back and said, there is nothing. Elijah said, go again. He came back again. Elijah said, Check this out. So he, he went, he saw, there is nothing. He came back to Elijah and he said, there is nothing. Elijah said, go again. He went, at least he was obedient. At least he don't leave the church. At least he don't go and find another prophet. At least he did not go and find another pastor. Right? He was obedient. Thank God for his obedience. Right? So he said, okay, fine. I'll go again if you say pastor. And he saw. But he said, there is nothing. And he came back and he said, there is nothing. Elijah said, go again. So he went again. He saw there is nothing. There is nothing, pastor. Elijah said, go. Sounds familiar? That's exactly what's happening to you. You come to church, you hear the word. The word says, favor like never before. You go home, there is nothing. You come back to church and you hear the same word. Favor like never before. And you're looking at your pastor with this mind, thinking inside your mind. Are you, do you even know what you're saying? favor like never before. Do you know my life? I have nothing. And then I say, again, another week, go again. And you go home and you come back and you say, Pastor, nothing is happening in my life. And I say, go again. And you go back again and you come back and you say, Pastor, I'm believing, really, I'm believing, but nothing is happening. And I say, believe again. And you go back again and you come back and you say, Pastor, I'm praying, I'm fasting even now because someone else told me to fast. But, but I say, pray Again, you go back, you try, and you come back, Pastor, I'm walking by faith. And I say, walk by faith. Again, again, and again, and again. And you ask me, how many times? How many times should I pray again? How many times should I fast again? How many times should I believe again? How many times, Pastor, should I do this? And I say, as many times as it takes, as many times, listen now, as it takes, as many times as it takes, till you see exactly what God has said it. Because if God has said it, it if God has said it, it has to happen. If God has said it, you will see it. And just like that, on the seventh time, the servant came back and he said, I can now see it. I can see it. Now I can see it. Oh, I can see a cloud. Just like that. Just like that, you will come back to me and you will say, Pastor, now I see it. I see it. I see that now I am healed. Or you'll come back with a testimony saying, now I can see it. I can see that I am rich. I can see, Pastor, I can see now that I have favor. I can see, I can see that my family is saved. I can see, I can see my marriage has been restored. I can see now what you were saying. Now I see it. I see that my dreams have come true. I can see it now I can see that my prayer has been answered this is my guarantee to you this is my prophecy to you 
that you will see everything that God has said. Because I hear a sound from heaven. You will see the cloud because I hear a sound. You will see blessings because I hear a sound from heaven. You will see breakthrough because I hear a sound from heaven. I won't stop preaching about faith. I won't stop preaching about favor. I won't stop preaching about prosperity. I won't stop preaching about healing. I won't stop preaching about blessings because I know what I hear, what I hear will change what you see. I hear a sound from heaven. Can everyone stand?